Evangelicalism and fundamentalism is not the same. When you rename it and call it evangelical fundamentalism, leave me out of it, you've changed it then. The thing that concerns me now is so many young preacher boys who go off to college and don't even have a good class on contemporary theology. Because some preachers get up and push evangelicalism and fundamentalism the same expression, try to make it one the same, because they don't understand it. A lot of young preachers think it is the same. There's a big, big difference. Old evangelicalism based on the theology of fundamentalism was supplanted by new evangelicalism. Based on the theology of infiltration rather than separation, as the Bible clearly declared we ought to do. Don't look up. I ain't ready to pray yet. If you just think the five fundamentals constitutes the fundamentalists, and you got you got somebody on your side there you don't want over there, you got Jimmy Swaggart next to you. He believes the five fundamentals. You got Graham on the other side. Come on, don't get quiet on me now. You got old Roberts behind you. They all believe that. You got the Pope in front of you. He believes all that too. Dr. Rice was a member of the NAE, the National Association of Evangelicals. Bob Jones College was the first one to join it. There's a the person to come out of it too. Say amen again. When they started ecumenical evangelism, yoked up with unbelievers, started calling Mormons Christians and Catholics Christian brothers. They said, goodbye, we'll see you all later. You're not our crowd anymore. You've got a different name now. And things that are different are not the same. You don't call yourself fundamentalists. You see, we not only believe the fundamentals of faith, we believe in ecclesiastical separation. You don't, you don't yoke up with somebody that's not saved and call him a Christian brother. You don't have him on your platform, pray to him as a Christian brother, make everybody out there think the guy's all right and hope he's a hero. You don't do that. Fundamentalism believes in not joking up with unbelievers. They say the end never justifies the means. It's never wrong, right to do wrong to get a chance to do right. But look at all the people saved. Well, suppose I said, look at here, I mean, you could go rob the bank tomorrow. Nobody ever suspect us. We're preachers. We could rob the bank and about a million dollars. We could put the gospel in all the major newspapers in the world. Probably get, probably get uh, 20, 30,000 people saved both Sunday and tomorrow night. So we go rob the bank. You think we did the right thing? Well, we got 10,000 saved. Well, you said, but you should have stole the money. I know. That's the point I'm making. It's never right to do wrong to get a chance to do right. And the end never justifies the means. Wrong is wrong and right is right. Do right. Until the stars fall. The same commit out of faith for me. And not something close to it. Same thing. Southern Baptist Convention and Independence are not the same. That's why I'm an independent Baptist. Well, Oliver Green said he was so independent that the termites and, and his church wouldn't fellowship with the termites in the church down the street. Don't think I'll be that independent, maybe, but we are independent. I prayed for the conservatives in the convention. I've talked with them. I've talked with them on the phone, some of them. They've called me. I said, I hope you can change the convention. I pray you will. They said, we think we've got a program to do it. I said, I'll pray for you. But to be honest with you, I don't think you'll ever change it. I'll tell you why. We're the salt of the earth. Salt is never antiseptic, but aseptic. Salt does not heal anything. It only prevents the spread of corruption. You put salt on a rotten piece of meat, it won't come back fresh. You may put it on a piece of fresh meat, it may not rot. If you put enough salt on it, it keep from rotting. But what's rotten is rotten. It ain't coming back. I said, what's rotten is rotten. It ain't coming back. There ain't enough salt in the world to bring it back. It's gone. Well, they're going to change it. I said, all right, I'll pray you'll change it. But I'm going to tell you something. We're the salt of the earth. And salt never cures corruption. No one prevents the spread of it. All you do is hope to stem the tide. If you don't get any worse, have they improved it any? Well, you, change, you, you decide. For 15 years, they've elected their own hand-picked president every year. This year in Orlando, Florida, 
they carried their hand picked candidate down there, but when he was nominated, to their surprise, they elected a moderate candidate, Jim Henry, pastor of First Baptist Church in Orlando. Hello. You don't think he's moderate? Talk to my son in law. He pastors in the same city. He's on the front row. Ask him. In fact, he asked my son in law, Would your dad in law preach for me? He said, I don't think so. I can tell him now, I know I wouldn't. He, will, he won't take a stand on homosexuality. Won't take a stand on abortion. Fifteen years, conservative president. Now they got a president. Won't take a stand on abortion, homosexuality, either one. Hang on. In his first statement I read in the paper after he was elected, said he wanted to reach out to the disaffected moderates. You know what a moderate is? That's a liberal. That's the guy, don't be the Bible's the inerrant, inspired, infallible word of God. Oh, they say in matters of doctrine and spiritual matters, it's correct. But scientifically, it is not correct. And historically, it is not correct. And you're incorrect, sir. Sit down. The Bible has never been proven to be scientifically or historically incorrect. It is correct in everything it has to say. It's the Word of God. It's infallible. You see how a crowd's not very big. It's big enough. It's as big as God wants it didn't be bigger. Why you, he re- why you reckon he wrote in the Bible, narrow is the way, and straight is the gate, and few there be that find it? And why you reckon he wrote in the Bible, broad is the way, and wide is the way that leads to destruction, and many? I'm not looking for the crowd. I'm looking for what's right. Thank you.